Science Grade 5. Quarter 4. Module 4. Phases of the Moon. After going through this module, you are expected to, 1. Infer the pattern in the changes in the appearance of the moon, 2. Identify and describe the changes of the moon's light as seen from night to night, and 3. Draw the different pattern in the changes in the appearance of the moon. Draw a happy face if the statement is correct and sad face if it is not. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. 1. Earth has one moon. 2. When the people on Earth cannot see a moon, it is on a waxing crescent phase. 3. A half moon is also referred to as a first quarter moon. 4. An apparent change in the moon's shape is a phase. 5. A full moon is when you cannot see any part of the moon. 6. The phase of the moon that follows the waning crescent is called the last quarter moon. 7. In the new moon phase the moon lies between Earth and the Sun. 8. Third quarter moon referred to as the last quarter phase. 9. Waning means growing smaller. 10. The dark side of the moon is also known as the new moon phase. Lesson 1. Phases of the Moon The moon is the only natural satellite that Earth has. A satellite is an object that revolves around a larger object. The moon does not produce its own light. It only reflects the light coming from the sun. Since the moon is revolving around the Earth, the amount of light it reflects from the sun varies as it changes its positions. In this module, the learners will find answers as to why the moon appears differently at different times. A. Arrange the jumbled letters to form a word being described in each number. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. 1. It is the motion of Earth and the Moon in their orbits. 2. It is the spinning motion of some bodies like planets and satellites in space. 3. It is an imaginary line going through the center of the Earth from the North Pole to the South Pole. 4. It is the path that one body takes in space as it revolves around another body and followed by the planets as they travel around the Sun. 5. It is the term used to describe the Moon. B. Put a check if the statement is correct and a cross if it is not. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. 1. The Moon's surface has mountains and craters. 2. The Moon moves in two ways, the rotation and the revolution. 3. It takes 10 complete revolutions and rotations for the Moon in one year. 4. You would feel like floating on the surface of the Moon because of its weaker gravity compared to the Earth. 5. The Moon continuously moves by rotation and revolution around the Earth as Earth continuously moves by rotation and revolution around the Sun. Read the poem and answer the guide questions on a separate sheet of paper. I am the Moon. I am the Moon with a shape of sphere. I am big and white, loves to reflect the sunlight. I am the Moon and I love to play a game. Because I don't always look the same. In the beginning, I am new. Out of sight from all of you. Sometimes I am a crescent. Up from here, smiling at you. Look up in a clear sky. You will see my friendly bright light. Can you guess what shape will I have? When you see me tonight. Guide questions. 1. What is the poem all about? 2. What does the moon love to play? 3. What does the moon love to reflect? 4. What do you think is the reason, why does the moon change its appearance from night to night? If you are to observe the moon regularly for a month, you will likely observe that its shape appears to change. Sometimes, you can only see small amounts of the lighted half of the moon. However, there are times when you don't see any of the lighted half of the moon at all. This is because different parts of the moon are visible, depending on the amount of sunlight shines on it. It takes the moon only 27. 32 days to complete its orbit around Earth, but because of the movement around the sun, the moon goes through a cycle of phases, 
from new moon to the next new moon over a period of 29.5 days. As the moon revolves around Earth, you see a different amount of its lighted part because it receives varying amounts of light from the Sun at different points on its orbit. Moon Phase Chart First Quarter Waxing Crescent New Moon Waning Crescent Last Quarter Waning Gibbous Full Moon Waxing Gibbous Phases of the Moon 1. New Moon Phase At this phase, Day 1 the moon is between the sun and the earth. The half of the moon lighted by the sun faces away from earth, thus you cannot see any of the moon's lighted part, hence the phrase the dark side of the moon. They cross the sky with the sun during the day, and the moon's shadow side is pointed toward earth. A new moon is visible only during a solar eclipse. New moon occurs about once a month, because the moon takes about a month to orbit the earth. Two. Waxing crescent after the new moon, each night more of the moon's lighted part becomes visible. We say the moon is in its waxing phase. It is the phase that is more than new moon but less than the first quarter. It is named for its C shape. The moon is in the third day of its trip in its orbit. Waxing means growing larger in the day or so after every new moon, a slim smile of a moon, a waxing crescent appears in the west shortly after sunset. Some people think a moon visible in the west after sunset is a rising moon. It's not, it's a setting moon. 3. First quarter half of the moon's lighted surface is seen on Earth after one week from the new moon's phase. It shows that only one half of the lighted part is reflected to Earth. At this phase, it is already on day 7 of its journey. As viewed from anywhere on Earth, a first quarter moon appears at its highest in the sky at sunset. It sets around the middle of the night. It's called a quarter moon, it looks half illuminated, like half a pie or you might say that, at first quarter moon, we're seeing half the moon's day side or a quarter of the whole moon. There's another reason we call this moon a quarter and not a half. It's because it's one quarter of the way around in its orbit of Earth as measured from one new moon to the next. 4. Waxing gibbous The moon is on day 11 of its journey. Gibbous means hump-shaped. A waxing gibbous moon is in the sky when darkness falls. It lights up the early evening. It appears more than half-lighted, but less than full. 5. Full moon Why does a full moon look full? Remember that half the moon is always illuminated by the sun. That lighted half is the moon's day side. In order to appear full to us on Earth, we have to see the entire day side of the moon. That happens only when the moon is opposite the sun in our sky. So a full moon looks full because it's opposite the sun. 6. Waning gibbous after full moon, the visible lighted part of the moon becomes smaller. At this phase, at around day 17, the moon begins to wane or shrink because the sun begins to shine on the western edge. The visible lighted part becomes smaller in which it is less than full moon but more than the last quarter. Waning means growing smaller. Between full and last quarter moon, late at night or in the early morning, you might catch the moon in its waning gibbous phase. It will appear less than full but more than half lighted. A waning gibbous moon rises later at night somewhere between your local sundown and midnight. 7. Last quarter is also referred to as the third quarter phase. The moon has already moved three-fourths of its orbit and has reached day 21 of its trip. The amount of lighted part that is reflected to Earth becomes smaller. Only half of the lighted part of the moon facing Earth can be seen the last quarter moon appears a week after full moon and a week before new moon. It rises in the middle of the night, appears at its highest in the sky around dawn, and sets around midday. 8. Waning Crescent The moon is day 24 of its journey. On this phase, only a small portion of the lighted part facing Earth can be seen. The moon is less than third quarter but more than new moon, Valencia and Villona, 2015. A waning crescent moon can be found in the east before sunrise. It's waning toward new moon, 
when the moon will be between earth and the sun. On each successive morning, a waning crescent moon will show us less and less of its lighted portion, or day side. Each day, it rises closer to the sunrise, heading for new moon, when the moon will be between the earth and sun. The illuminated side of a waning crescent moon always points eastward, or in the direction of sunrise. Activity 1 Match the items in column A with the items in column B Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Column A 1. The phase that is seen when the moon is between the sun and the earth. 2. The phase when most of the lighted portion of the moon is visible in the sky and seen before a full moon. 3. The phase when the entire lighted portion of the moon is seen in the sky. 4. The phase when the moon appears in a semicircular form and is seen after a new moon. 5. The phase that appears after a waning crescent. 6. The phase when most of the lighted portion of the moon is seen in the sky, but gets smaller every night. 7. It is the Earth's only natural satellite. 8. The period it takes for the moon to complete one cycle. 9. It is the half of the moon's lighted surface that is seen on Earth. 10. It is the phase of the moon that is less than third quarter but more than the new moon. Column B. A. First quarter. B. Full moon. C. Last quarter. D. Moon. E. Month. F. New moon. G. Phases of the moon. H. Waning crescent. I. Waning gibbous. J. Waxing Crescent K. Waxing Gibbous Activity 2 Below are the phases of the moon. Label each correctly and add a short description. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Phases of the moon Description Example, New Moon At this phase, day 1, the moon is between the sun and the earth. The half of the moon lighted by the sun faces away from Earth. Activity 3 Write true if the statement is correct or false if it is not. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. 1. The moon orbits the Earth once every 24 days. 2. The moon revolves around the Earth and rotates on its own axis. 3. The amount of light received by the moon affects the lighted portion visible to us on Earth. 4. The moon shines because it reflects light from Earth. 5. The shape of the moon seems to change as it orbits the Sun. 6. Waxing crescent moon happens when we cannot see any of the lit part of the moon. 7. Full moon happens when the moon is between Earth and the Sun. 8. Waxing phases of the moon refer to the lighted parts getting larger each night. 9. The moon is the only satellite that Earth has. 10. The moon does not produce its own light. Complete the statement below by choosing the correct answers from the given choices in the box. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Full moon. New moon. Sunday 27.32 days. Growing larger. Phase of the moon. Waning. 29.5 days. Month. Satellite. Waxing phase. The moon is the only natural. One. Blank that Earth has. It does not produce its own light. It only reflects the light coming from the, two, blank. The shape of the lighted part of the moon that we see at any given time is the, three, blank. It takes the moon only, four, blank, to complete its orbit around Earth, but because of the movement around the Sun, the moon goes through a cycle of phases, from new moon to the next new moon after a, five, blank. 6. In blank, phase, the moon lies between Earth and the Sun. After the new moon, each night, more of the moon's lighted part becomes visible, we say the moon is in its, 7, blank. Waxing means, 8, blank. When the moon is halfway of its orbit, 
the half part becomes fully lighted and is reflected to earth and it is called, 9, blank. After a full moon, the visible lighted part of moon becomes smaller. 10, blank, means growing smaller. Draw the different phases of the moon. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. First quarter. Waxing crescent. New moon. Waning crescent. Last quarter. Waning gibbous. Full moon. Waxing gibbous. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. 1. If David will look into the sky and see a new moon what phase of the moon will be seen after two weeks? A. Full moon. B. New moon. C. Crescent moon. D. First quarter moon. 2. Why does the moon have different phases? A. It moves around the sun. B. It emits light as it orbits Earth. C. It follows the sun around Earth. D. It reflects sunlight as it orbits Earth. 3. How often the repetition of the phases of the moon occurs? A. Every 24 hours. B. Around once a week. C. Around once an hour. D. Around once a month. 4. Which of the following statement is true? A. Only one side of the moon faces Earth. B. A different side of the moon faces Earth each day. C. There are months when we see more phases than others. D. The other side of the moon is seen only during the full moon. 5. Why can we see the moon? A. Because the moon is hot. B. Because the moon is on fire. C. Because it makes its own light. D. Because sunlight reflects back to us from the surface. 6. When could the new moon phase occur? A. When the moon is between the sun and earth. B. When the side of the moon facing earth is half lighted. C. When the side of the moon facing earth is fully lighted. D. When the side of the moon facing earth does not receive sunlight. 7. Which of these situations would allow us to observe a full moon? A. The moon is between earth and the sun. B. The moon has traveled three-fourths of its orbit. C. The side of the moon facing the earth is not lighted. D. The side of the moon facing the earth receives full sunlight. 8. What happens when the moon is in its waning phase? A. We don't see the moon at all. B. More of the lighted side can be seen. C. A small part of its lighted side becomes visible. D. The moon does not receive sunlight for a week. 9. In what phases can you see an increasing amount of the lighted side of the moon? A. First quarter to full moon. B. Mull moon to last quarter. C. Full moon to new moon. D. New moon to full moon. 10. My left side is lit by the sun and a viewer from earth would see half of me lit. What phase of the moon am I? A. First quarter. B. Last quarter. C. Waning gibbous. D. Waxing crescent. Observe the presence of the moon on a clear night sky. Using a separate sheet of paper, draw the phase of the moon on that night, and then write your prediction on the next phase of the moon for the coming week. Use a separate sheet of paper. Thank you.